The number of people killed in the El Paso shooting has now risen to 22, adding to the grief of a city in mourning. Garrett Berger joins us live from the scene where people have been coming by all day today. And Garrett, what have you been seeing there? Well, we've been seeing a lot of big crowds, and since the night we got here, Saturday night, the day of the shooting, we've seen people bringing things to this corner right behind the scene of the shooting. That's the Walmart building behind me. People are bringing flowers, cards, candles, signs, tokens of support for the families of the victims. Now the addition of these white crosses has added an even more somber tone to this area. Their creator telling us that they'll be given to the families. We've already seen some messages written on them, and we talked with one man who said his wife, who he'd been with for 22 years, was among those killed. We were with him as he helped carry her marker down here to be placed. He says she was a loving person. And we was out of the streets here a few years ago, and she actually gave a person our last $5 bill for him and his wife to get something to eat. And we've been blessed ever since. And I was blessed when I got her. She his story is one of many as the families of 21 other victims grieve their losses too. And families of two do dozen others hope for their loved one's recovery. Now we've just learned in the past hour or so that President Trump will be visiting El Paso on Wednesday. The city, though, facing a new normal at this time. We were actually at a different Walmart, our crew getting some supplies for the today. And there was a noticeable addition of extra security guards and an off-duty police officer. Right now, El Paso isn't feeling the same, and it doesn't look the same either. Live in El Paso, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.